welcome to episode 12. Since I'm having a hard time today thinking about an idea for a show, and because I'm not following my own rules because of time things, I want to tell you about a little rules that I, I live by and try to make a podcast, and how to make it come out weekly on time. The first thing you want to do is practice. You want to practice recording a couple of episodes before you even think about releasing it. When you do that, you start recording a few episodes. At minimum, you should have two episodes recorded before you release one, so that means you would have one extra. I like to have three. When I post something, I still have two episodes left just in case something happened. <laughs> well, what happened to me is a lot of things in life just happen. Uh, let's see, I had a anniversary and everything, so I had to get prepared for that. So I've kind of fallen behind, so that's why I'm recording it today, the day of release. <sighs> Which you should not do. You really should not do. You should at least have it done a week before. At least. But like I said, you should have three. And once you start releasing, you still want to keep that schedule of once a week you record one so you never fall behind. If you do fall behind, try to record a couple shows in a week. It's really tough. I've not been able to keep up with the Loris Lecture. Um, missing dialogues was a lot easier. I could just gather a couple of people together and we would just have ideas. Doing this by yourself is a lot more difficult because, well, you're just relying on yourself to come up with ideas and I don't... Not that I have issues with ideas. I have plenty of ideas, just they don't work in the format that I have here for this show. I, I got show ideas and whatnot, but not really a video podcast idea. So well, that's what you want to do. Um, if you're doing an audio podcast, the kind of tools I like to use, this is my trade secret, so enjoy. I use Audacity. I love Audacity with a passion, but it is missing one key feature. One key feature that it doesn't do very well. It has the feature, but it doesn't do it very well. Evening everything out, keeping everything at the same level so there's no peaks where you're screaming in the ear or very quiet and you can't really hear it. Well, I use Sound Booth to do that. It evens it all out. It keeps it at this block level, so everything sounds about the same level. The only issue with that is when, like, there's a quiet person right next to a loud person that does a little weird thing, and Audacity is much, much worse at doing that. There's weird lags, and it doesn't get everybody at the same level. So, that's the only reason I kind of stick with Windows, because that's where I have Sound Booth. I don't think they have a Linux option yet for that. Uh, when my Windows partition completely crashed and it wouldn't boot up on my system anymore, I did use Audacity for like two or three weeks, maybe like four shows, but the quality wasn't as great, or if it was, it took a lot more effort. And while I will put effort into doing a show, doing three or four shows a week, at least editing them, that's really difficult to do because... Well, let's say, let's take IHN for a second. That's an hour-long program. If I was to sit there and edit the show all in Audacity, it takes about two hours to do right, just using Audacity. To do it with Sound Booth and Audacity, because I always use both, um, it only takes the hour, or maybe a little bit more, because I'll go back and still listen to everything to make sure it's okay. But... Audacity just doesn't do it as well the evening. Everything else, I like. I I think the controls are much easier in Audacity. And once they get that one key feature in there, I I will not use Soundbooth. It's Soundbooth is complicated. It's got some interesting features in it. I'll give you that. And I have used them from time to time, but for the most part, you can use Audacity now. Again. When you want to release it, you want to release it at the beginning of the day. Because I guess you could release it at the end of the night, but you don't want to really release it in the middle of the day because you're not going to get as many listeners that day. Because I like to see a lot of downloads right in this big section. So I usually release it at the very beginning. Let's say... Well, IHN, I release on Sundays in the morning. Because when I get 
the podcast, which is usually in the morning if I'm not on the show. I just download it, and I take an hour, or if I'm doozy and audacity, two hours, and edit it and post it immediately. That's kind of why I get up kind of early on Sunday. And for Between the Sheets, I edit that usually right after. It's pretty easy because I'm listening to it and leveling it up at that point because I have control of it, and I don't really have to do a lot of that. But I do get up early in the morning to release it because that's kind of the best way to get things out. You also might want to utilize some social networks. I use Twitter an awful lot to do this. I have the IHN account and I have the Lores account. Um, basically, if you just want show information, you just follow the I have or IHN show Twitter. But if you want some personal stuff from me, you just follow Lauren Law. I still post show stuff on Lauren Law, but that's it. Um, IGN actually has a Facebook page and a MySpace page, but I don't really go there. All I do is I feed it Twitter. When I show that I'm posting shows, I have set it up where all I have to do is post to Twitter on the IHN account, and it will post directly to the Facebook, and it will post directly to the MySpace. Well, that's great. Um, but the thing about that is you have to have listeners before they'll follow you on that. I have no idea how to get listeners. I just make stuff. I mix stuff. I am apparently not very good at uh, publicizing things where people want to go out of their way and listen to it. If anyone asks me what I'm doing, I'll talk about it, but how many people do I actually talk to? Not an awful lot. Just you guys. Just you guys. So um, I'm not going to have a show about how to get listeners or followers. I have no idea how to do that. I guess I could go around the internet and bug people and start following them, but that's not what I do. And Personally, I wouldn't like someone doing that to me. I just try to post interesting um, comments or, uh, you know, material. And if you like that sort of thing, you should be able to find me. But that's all I do. But what I really want is for you guys, if you could, if you like this show, if you like the I Have Nothing show, if you like Between the Sheets, if you like the Nameless Review... We could have a whole host of shows, like Missing Dialogue and whatever. Just a bunch of them. If you could tell people about it, that would be great. That's all that would be great. I just want people to hear. We don't have, like, the greatest content in the world, but it's pretty good, and we make it ourselves. And you know what? Everyone is welcome to come back and make their own material. Just go to IHaveNothing.org and just uh, look at all our stuff there. If you need to, you can get a hold of me, and I'll help edit your stuff at, let's try this again, curestudios at gmail.com. Yes, I'm pointing down at the bottom of the screen. Hopefully, I'm able to edit in text. If I'm not, well, you've just watched my finger go back and forth. I'll help you guys out. No problem. Um, I'm not the owner of the upload, and I always have to ask permission which is suave. He owns that. and uh, But usually he's pretty pretty good about that. You just ask him if, if he can do that. We have other places, and you, of course, can host your own stuff if you want to. Um, and all you got to do is sign up at IHaveNothing.org, and you can start posting your own news stories if you want to. So, this was Lore's Lecture, Episode 12. I rambled a bit. It was a bit long. I gave you some insight into the podcasting that we do here. Of course, we're not professional, but it's a podcast. Who's fucking professional? Not a lot of people. So, enjoy. <laughs>